Welcome to uh, Practido Educational Kits. This is the first lecture to introduce you to the solar energy kit. Uh, the first need is uh, uh, we are looking for energy to be able to use get light or charge our phone. or uh, a water pump a water pump that we use in this case to power uh, hydroponics uh, our system to grow food ourselves at home so we need energy to power these devices and this energy is not we don't always have uh, access to electricity and for this reason our we, we use solar energy. This solar energy is harvested by what's called solar panels or photovoltaic solar panels. And these panels, when exposed to electricity, to the sun, they generate electricity. These panels come in different specifications different voltage, different current, different power and um, and this is a part of the class is to learn how this system work, how to select them and how to maintain them. But these devices they produce electricity but only when it's exposed to the sun. What happens if we need electricity at night when there is no uh, uh, solar when there is no sun when there is no so, uh, direct solar electricity or what to do when uh, uh, early morning when there is uh, very little Sun or when it is cloudy uh, and we don't have Sun so we need a way to store this energy to use it later when it is needed so for this reason we use batteries Berries come in different sizes, different technologies. This is a standard a berry, very similar uh, as the berry used in uh, motorcycles. They are lead acid berries. And this, uh, these berries can store so much energy, uh, limited amount of energy, and they provide this energy um, in specific voltage and these batteries are charged by the solar panels so to review our situation we have what we call the charge the use of the solar energy or the need for solar energy we have solar panels that uh, create energy from the Sun and we need batteries to store that energy and provide that energy to the charge when needed. The question or the challenge that we see is that these different devices have different specifications. They need different voltage, different current, um, and uh, 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 we need a way to control the flow of energy. The ener when, when is the energy going directly from the, uh, from the sun to the chargers, when the energy is charging the battery, and when the energy is going from the battery, powering the devices. In order to manage this exchange of uh, energy, we use what's called a solar charge controller. This solar charge controller is uh, uh, like the, uh, the, the head or the lead of the orchestra, making the right energy is going at the right place at the right time with the right amount. Uh, and also, this will ensure that we don't burn, give too much charge to, the, to our devices and also make sure that we are powering, charging the battery at the right amount and we are discharging at the right amount. 
So this system, uh, solar charge control, not only makes sure that everything is working, but also it ensures that everything is working in the best conditions so that they last a long time and they don't fail. This, the way to use this system is very straightforward. These solar chargers come with, are at the center of our solar system and they have these very three distinct connectors. So the first one is the battery. So we connect, we connect the battery to the solar charger. And we can already see the level of the battery is almost full and it is running under providing 12.6 volts. The second connector is the solar panel. This symbol here make the solar panels. So for the solar panel, we are not going to connect this one because this one is not in the sun. But we have a solar panel currently in the sun. And this is the solar panel you see over there, which is exposed to the sun. And maybe you can see the panel from the other side. So this is the solar channel directly under the sun, um, loading exposed to the solar energy. And uh, the power, the energy from these solar panels coming from this cable goes straight in the solar charge control. And we can see how the solar panel is starting to charge the battery. You see this flashing arrow, meaning that the solar panel is starting to charge the battery. Now, the only thing left is to plug the, the, the charge, which is in this case is electricity, is a, a solar light. So what we do, we just plug it directly and and we have the power. We can do it, so this solar light is directly powered by the battery and the battery is being charged by the photovoltaic. We can, we can use different chargers. In this case, it's a solar light. You can charge your phone And, or you can run your solar pump that will be uh, pumping water. This is uh, an overview of the system, uh, the solar system uh, in your kit. So you are going to use this kit to understand how solar energy work, how to maintain the solar energy, uh, to, how to maintain this system so that it lasts a long time. You will uh, learn, you will get the knowledge on how to select the right components for your system. You will get the knowledge to uh, select the uh, the, the components that you need for your specific needs. If you have two solar lights versus if you have, uh, you want to power a refrigerator or a fan. So based on your budget, based on your needs, you'll get the knowledge to how about selecting the right uh, system for you. Last, we are going to uh, provide you with uh, uh, an introduction on how to make a living, to make a business out of a solar system, how to install, how to uh, uh, offer services 
as a business to uh, people, to customers that need, we need your knowledge and your experience. Thank you very much and we are very happy to have you join us in this uh, Practi2 educational curriculum. Thank you.